Hi students, hi parents, it's Mrs. Lambert. I'm here tonight and I'm gonna to help you with modeling and recording two-digit subtraction. This is also on the homework. It's for Go Math Lessons 5.4 and 5.5 and all of my examples are problems that you can find in those lessons throughout the homework. Let's get started. So this is a 5.4 and in 5.4 it's gonna break it down for us where we can see our ones, we can see our tens and it's labeled. And then over here is our area where we're going to draw. The directions tell us that we need to draw what's happening. So if I'm going to look at this, I have 43 minus 17. The first thing I need to do is draw my 43. 1, 2, 3, 4 tenths. 1, 2, 3 ones. Then I'm going to see that I need to subtract 17. Well, starting on my one side, 3 minus 7 if I only have three ones, I can't take seven away from that. So I'm going to need to take a 10 from over here, and I'm going to break that down and regroup that instead of a 10 into 10 ones. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I need to show what I've done. So I've taken my three, and I don't have three ones anymore. I have 13 ones now. And my four tens, I don't have four anymore. I have three now. So you're going to take your three and make it a 13 and the four a three because that 10 from here is now over here. Now that I have 13 minus seven, I'm going to take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six left. So 13 minus seven is six. On my 10 side, I have three. I need to take away one of those, and that's gonna give me two. So 43 minus 17 is 26. Another one from 5.4, same thing. So I have 52, one, two, three, four, five tenths, and two ones, one, two. I'm gonna look down here. If I only have two ones, again, I need to take away seven. And if I have two of something, I can't take seven away from it. So I'm gonna take this 10 and I'm gonna regroup it into 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I need to show what I've done. So I no longer have two ones, I have 12 ones. And I no longer have five tens, I have four tens. Cause I took the 10 from here and I moved it to my one side. So now I have 12 minus seven and I can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna come to my 10 side. I have four and I need to take away three of them. One, two, three. That's gonna give me one left. So 52 minus 37 is 15. Now, when you get into 5.5, they're no longer giving you the ones and the tens and where you have to draw it. So you need to look at the problem and decide what you need to do. A lot of students are seeing 47 minus 28 and they're giving me this answer. So help remind your student that you can't just switch the numbers. What I try to tell them is what they're doing is now making the problem 48, sorry. They're making the problem 48 minus 27 instead of 47 minus 28. We can't just pick different numbers because that's what we want to work with. We need to look at it and realize, well, if I have seven of something, I can't take eight away from that, so I need to regroup. I'm going to cross out my seven, and I'm going to borrow a 10 from over here, and that seven plus 10 is 17. If I took a 10 from here, that's no longer a four, it's going to be a three. So 17 minus eight, students can use their number lines, they can count up, whatever is easier for them. So 17 minus eight, counting up would be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, nine left. So 17 minus eight is nine, and then three minus two is one, so 47 minus 28 is 19. Another one. Another thing that students need to watch for is make sure they're only regrouping when they need to. I have seven minus six. 
if I have seven of something, I can take six away from that. But I have a lot of students that are crossing out and trying to regroup for no reason. So always think, is this a bigger number? If that's a bigger number, I'm good to go. So seven is bigger than six. If I have seven of something, I can give six away. So seven minus six is one. Seven minus two is five. So 77 minus 26 is 51. Last one, I have 52 minus 25. So if I have two, I can't take away five, so I need to regroup. I'm gonna cross out my two since I'm taking a 10 from over here. 10 plus two is 12. My five is going to become a four, and now I'm ready to subtract. 12 minus five is seven, and four minus two is two. So 52 minus 25 is 27. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching as always. Please message me if you still have any questions or concerns. Again, we do have our test on Thursday. A review of all of the videos from this unit would be really helpful in helping on that test. Have a good night.